This video is brought to you by Squarespace. If you've ever wondered how to mix LED with flash, click on the right video. So I'm gonna show you as soon as the model is done making TikToks. See her over there? The world is waiting for me to share my brilliance knowledge. How about the fact that I was waiting for you outside and you were not here yet? Even though I was gonna hold up earlier than you got our daughter ready to turn the putting on my hair and then do my makeup. How about that? All I have is an LED light and one flash. I don't got money for other things because Diana wants to go well, to San Francisco heavy. next month. All right, what and. Wow. What's the show? I hear that all the time. About you. Let's not. No. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you know what? I'm done with you. This is a 60 watt LED, so it's not very powerful. And then I've got a, a very powerful 400 watt strobe in the strip box behind her. That's gonna create a separation light because we have a very monochromatic scene here, okay? So I wanna use both. The problem when using like an LED light and flash is that you're handicapped to the power of the LEDs. I'm gonna have to adjust the power of the strobe to match the LED. So my settings are ISO 200, F1.8, 1 1 25th of a second. She's only being lit by the 60 watt LED in the seven foot umbrella here, okay? Ready, one, two, three. And so see like the handicap of having this light that's not very powerful. I had to close all the shades in the studio because if I didn't, then this wouldn't have much of an effect. So that's always like, that's one of the limitations of using an LED. And now I'm gonna turn on my 400 watt strobe and now I have to lower the power and I'm already assuming in my head that this has to be a minimum power to match the power of the LED. Ready, one, two, three. And so see what, what I'm seeing here is that even that flash over there at minimum power, it's still, it's a little bit too overpowering. So now I switched out the powerful 400 watt strobe for a speed light, which now there's a lot less power coming out of this. It's gonna be able to match up with that. I'm gonna take a test shot, minimum power on the speed light. Let's see, one, two, three. And you see, it just it gives you that nice kiss of light, that nice rim light on her, on her arm and on her hair. That's perfect. Nice and clean. Okay, so now let's pretend that it was reverse. What if you got the LED back here and you have the strobe in this seven foot umbrella? Same concept, you're just flipping it. Now I'm basically just adjusting the, you know, the flash power of the main light to match the rear light. Now let's just pretend, I'm gonna give you guys a realistic scenario. Let's pretend that that wall wasn't there. There's more space to play with, right? And let's say I don't have that speed light to kind of bail me out, right? I have this 400 watt strobe and this, this LED that's not very powerful. Okay, what would I do? Okay, I'm still gonna put the flash over here and use this as my main light because, well, rule number one is when you're lighting a person, you want to keep that light source, the main light source, cl as close as possible to them to get the nicest, softest light possible. The farther the light is, the more harsh it looks. It doesn't look as flattering. What I could do, if it's too powerful, what I could do is just back it up, and now there's going to be, it's not going to be as powerful. That could be a way to balance, right? But again, I'm breaking that rule number one. So then what I would do is put the strong light, the FJ400, as the backlight and then just back this one up because I don't care if it's flattering or not. It's lighting up her arm and her hair. So if you ever get caught in a situation like that, just always prioritize the light in front. Always prioritize that light and yeah. So I don't even know where I'm going with this anymore. <laughs> and so now that the tutorial part is over, um, here's another little hack for you. I'm like, those are more tutorial photos. I'm gonna try to give her a banger now, okay? I'm gonna put my strobe back and I'm not worried too much about the power of the flash because I'm not gonna use the flash, the strobe as a flash because a lot of flashes nowadays have what you call a modeling light. So it's like an LED mode for the light, you know, where let's say you're shooting in a dark situation, you can use that to get focus on your model and stuff. So this setup is, um, so I have an Aperture 600D with the light projector and that's gonna be projecting a window light on Diana. The Westcott FG400 using only the modeling lamp and then I'm gonna just use this light as almost like a, like a fill. Okay, ready?
I do want to send a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Even before they sponsored me, like three, four years ago, I was using Squarespace and what I loved about them. Well, my work looked super high quality on the website and I didn't need to be some kind of tech savvy graphic designer to do it. It was so easy to use. Even your grandma can make a Squarespace website. They have 24 seven customer support. And if you've ever had ambitions to start a blog or even sell something online, Squarespace is a great place to host. Um, that's where I sell my Lightroom presets and my retouching tutorial. That makes me a decent, a good amount of side income so I can make money while I sleep. If you use the coupon code Manny, you will get 10% off your first purchase. Remember, social media is not yours. Your Instagram is not yours. That can be taken away. That can be, t that can, especially with, you know, Instagram's new, uh, they'll ban you for anything nowadays, you know? Uh, Squarespace is, this is yours. I'm telling you, any, every entrepreneur has to have a website. Recommended, highly recommended. All right, uh, subscribe for more tutorials. See you later. The moment it focuses on me, we can start. There we go. Have you ever wondered, have you ever wondered how, have you ever wondered how you can, have you ever wondered what you're going to say right now? If you have ever wondered how to mix LED and flash and you want to watch a very quick and straight to the point video, you clicked on the right one.